What's going on guys? Adam here from Adam Scott Fit. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to talk about HMB, that is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. It's a supplement that's been touted for its benefits in terms of being anti-catabolic and also anabolic and in turn leading to more muscle growth. So we're going to look at whether this actually holds up and look at the research and one particular study which covers a load of studies. So make sure you stay tuned. So there are many supplements out there which tout increases in muscle gain, like similar to that of creatine. And even once upon a time, HMB was actually considered to be uh, similar to a steroid. So if you're a hardworking athlete or you're increasing your training frequency, or you're in a hardcore situation, such as the playoffs, then HMB is for you. Crazy, no? But yeah, basically, it's a, you can see that where the hype originates, people compare stuff to like steroids, and when steroid users compare stuff to like steroids, or people that know something about steroids, then it kind of blows out of proportion. <laughs> people like Jesus. I need me some of that. That's like when creatine first came out. If anyone remembers Celtec. Shake up your muscle building routine like I do with Celtec and Nitro Tech. It's the fuel you need to help build muscle. Look, you gained 15 pounds of muscle in 13 weeks. Yeah, Celtec and Nitro Tech really work. Stack the odds in your favor with Celtec and Nitro Or Cyclone if you're in the UK. Max Muscle Cyclone is one of the UK's top selling supplements. It's an armor containing everything your body needs to grow. The Cyclone contains a mix of protein, fast acting carbs, creatine, glutamine, beta hysterone, and Then you're going to know what creatine feels like. Even in Cyclone, actually, they had HMB, and there was like, oh, uh, yeah, this, you know, the HMB combined with the creatine, you know, provides an anabolic environment, and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you can imagine people just bought the hype, bought the supplement. But to be fair, Celtec and Cyclone were seriously effective to a point. And then you were just like, what? This doesn't. But then again, I just remember back now, that was when I was a newbie, when I was a beginner. And we'll get into that a bit later on. Anyway, HMB is a metabolite of leucine. So leucine, when it breaks down, it breaks down into various different things, and HMB is one of them. But you need 60 grams of leucine to make one gram of HMB in the body. So it's not essential, it can be made in the body. So we don't need HMB. The whole reasoning behind having a HMB supplement was they found it to be, well, in early, early research, to be very anti-catabolic. So it prevents muscle breakdown rather than just anabolic enhancing muscle protein synthesis. So remember, when we're building muscle, we basically want protein synthesis up and we want muscle breakdown down. So when that happens, we build muscle. If muscle breakdown is higher than protein synthesis, unfortunately, there are no gains to be made. Even then, in some cases, you can actually lose muscle. Anyway, that's the whole idea of catabolism when muscle breakdown is super high and uh, muscle protein synthesis just can't match up and can't help you build that new muscle tissue. Anyway, let's look at this specific study. This is in a beast of a study. It's a, done in 2019. It's a systematic review and meta-analysis, which actually originally looked at thousands of studies and broke it down to the most relevant ones and came with, well, ended up with seven different studies. All these studies were done on athletes, so they had some sort of training experience. So I think that was part of the inclusion factor that they, when they broke it down from the thousands, they took out all the ones that weren't relevant to trained individuals, basically, because a lot of stuff's done on undertrained, well, not undertrained, uh, people that don't train, basically, and the elderly population. So they took those kind of out of the study. And what they actually found by looking at all these studies, first of all, only two of those studies were done in, in a controlled environment in terms of where the participants were eating, the athletes even, were eating enough protein. So they were consuming above 1.6 grams per kilo of body weight and going quite high. And actually on those particular studies, they found that HMB offered zero benefits. 
In some of the other studies, though, it did show some benefits in terms of increasing muscle protein synthesis, increasing fat-free mass, increasing uh, basically um, fat loss as well. It showed some and no effects on body mass. There was some mixture in results, but overall, if you look at break them down the way Holland et al. did in this paper, um, in this meta-analysis, even this paper, this very long paper, and yeah, they just basically found that HMB does not offer any significant benefits. If it did, they're, they're very small and they're not significant enough to say that, you know, HMB is this super powerful anti-catabolic agent is the future of supplementation. No. So there was a total of 208 participants as well. It's not the biggest sample size in the world. And only one of the groups actually was like properly resistance trained and followed. And there was, there was a bunch of limitations as with every studies, but you know, the, based on the research we have now on trained individuals, HMB does not seem to offer any benefits. However, however, in an aging population, say if you're 40 plus or maybe 50 plus, and you find it difficult to get enough protein in, then HMB can offer some benefits. Or any particular population which struggle to get enough protein in, HMB can offer some benefits, some anti-catabolic benefits. And this is, a, this is quite a strange one as well, because it goes back to my original point about Cyclone and Celtic just being so, I don't know, you just felt like you are growing like week on week or day on day when you took these supplements when you were younger, when I was younger even. Um, so basically in the untrained individuals, newbies, if you want to put it that way, HMB does offer some benefits because of the stress of working out and then it lowers uh, muscle protein breakdown, which is obviously a good thing. So that it can offer some benefits in some subjects, but overall, is it worth it? Probably not. You need about three grams a day to see these benefits. If you, like I said, if you're struggling to get enough protein or you're part of an aging population, then it might be something to consider. It's not cheap <laughs> to get a decent quality HMB. It's not super cheap and to take that actual dose as well, it's, it's not cheap. So my best recommendation based off the back of this is to actually just focus on consuming enough protein. And if you do fall into the category of either being a beginner or someone that is um, an age, well, an elderly person, like not elderly, it's not super elderly anyway, like 40, 50, 60 plus, then you know you might want to consider HMB because your protein requirements do go up. And yeah, that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll link the study in the below so you can have a deeper read if you want. There's so many studies done on HMB, but in the trained population, there's not that many. This is what this meta-analysis and systematic review found, which is a great thing about these uh, meta-analysis and, uh, and systematic reviews because they group uh, all the data points, all the data, and then you know come to a firm conclusion on the current available research. This may change in the future, but this is 2020, 2021 even. <laughs> How can I forget? And that is kind of the the deal, basically. Um, you don't need to avoid HMB. There may be some benefits if you take it, but largely I would say get in everything else first. Get your protein, get your carbs, get your calories, get training in, get the sleep in. You know, once every single thing's in, maybe you'll benefit out of it. And if you're enhanced, you're probably not going to benefit out of it because your body's seriously anabolic and uh, like massively anti-catabolic. So no worries if you're enhanced as well. So if you have not, click that thumbs button already, click that thumbs up button. If you like the hair, click that thumbs up button, click it anyway. And if you enjoyed the video, click that subscribe button. Be sure to share with someone you know that is into supplements or consider taking something like HMB. And until the next video, keep pushing those limits.